Hey YouTubers, Sindri here. I am back with another original Zen table from Pinball FX3 on the Nintendo Switch. This is the Wild West Rampage table. And this one obviously has a very heavy Wild West theme to it. <laughs> That's why it's in the name. Now this table, along with the Castle Storm table, which is the next video I plan to do, are combined together in the Iron and Steel DLC pack. So these are two tables you have to purchase. They come in a two pack and uh, I'll tell you right now, spoiler, Castle Storm is another one of my favorites of their original tables. And this one's pretty good too. So I'm gonna show you this one today and look for that Castle Storm video coming up pretty soon as well. But this table, uh, you know, we've I say it all the time, look at the, look at the graphics. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful art style here. It definitely has the theme going. And I love, I always love the creative ways they, they implement the ball launcher. So there's almost like this little steam engine contraption down here, like the locomotive and all that. But, you know, you've got the saloon, you've got the, the old hotel in town, you've got uh, bandits, <laughs> cacti. Cactus, stagecoach, I mean, it's, it's got the whole theme done really well. I'm going to go ahead and play around here a little bit while I talk. You've got, you've got the train over there as well, so uh, animations on the windows. There's this neat little effect where I, you'll jump out of the window with the, the ball up there. There it goes, just there, like I planned it. So all of that's pretty neat. I do, um, I won't say this is one of my best tables by any means. Uh, it's definitely not. But it's, I, I do enjoy this one quite a bit. Spin for duel, three out of ten. So we'll have to see what that's about. But there's you know several loops. There's an extra flipper that goes in the train and brings it out the other side. And hitting that saloon shot is is definitely one of the, the key shots in the game. Here's the Outlands. I have bad Outland trouble today. All right, well, let's go for another one. But anyway, uh, so hopefully by now you've, you've watched a few of these videos and you're starting to get an idea of the overall quality. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I have never shied away from the fact that I was a fan of Pinball Arcade. Uh, in some ways, I still think they, they did a lot of good work moving us forward and making sure, you know, our, all this technology that we had we weren't you know, leaving you know, the arcades completely behind and giving us a way to play these pinball games that we, we hardly ever get a chance to anymore but you know the folks at Zen have taken that and, and not saying they're new to the block they've been they've been doing this at, at the same time uh, through the years I just had never played one of their games until pinball uh, FX3 and it's mostly because of what consoles I owned at the time and, and things like that. I was very much a, a handheld gamer more than a console gamer until the Switch came out. And obviously they've done quite a bit to move us along too. And in their own tables, all the original tables like these, they're getting a chance to flex the creative muscles here and, and come up with some new ideas and, and also uh, just put a little spark in everything again. But now that they've got the Williams license and they're doing the those tables, they're, they're just doing a fantastic job of preserving everything I love about the real-life pinball machines. And so to say I'm a fan is an understatement because pinball is one of my favorite types of games to play. And the funny part is I have never lived anywhere where I had a really good place to play pinball. So anytime I travel, that's one of the things I'm looking for. My uh, in college, my student union building had uh, the Williams Table Space Shuttle in it, and that was the only pinball game I played for four years. <laughs> that was all I had. And uh, I won't say that's the uh, a bad table, but it's definitely not my, my favorite or the best that Williams ever came out with. But uh, it definitely has a special place. Now that's one of the ones I actually would like to see implemented by. Uh, Pinball FX3, like again, just purely for my own nostalgia. 
but I am looking forward to, to showcasing the Williams tables too uh, on a future video or future videos here on my channel in the same uh, playlist. So be on the lookout for those. But before I got into those, I really just felt like I should start with what what Pinball FX three was before the Williams tables came in because it actually is a pretty darn good pinball game even without the Williams licenses. Uh, so, Williams and Bally licenses. And I hope they get a chance to do some some more companies in the future, so. There, there's a lot of pinball games out there that are, are, are not in any digital way or reproductions or they're, you know, custom things and such like that. That's why I, a, that's one of the reasons why pinball machines are holding their value for collectors, but, you know, the average person that can't afford a pinball machine in their house uh, relies on things like Pinball FX3 to play, and to be honest, it's more cost-effective because I can play multiple tables, I don't have to commit to just one. Not saying that there aren't three, four, five pinball tables that if I had a chance to own one, I probably would do it. Even if that was the only one I could ever get. <laughs> And future spoiler, a few of those are now in Pinball FX3. But I really do enjoy, I love that, that little uh, kicking the ball out to the train like that. I just think that's really creative. So anyway, I'm not talking too much about this table because I don't know a lot about it as far as like the shots you need to make and everything else like that. I really just wanted to show it off. You can best tell a town by its but anyway, I'm going to play through a few more games and we're going to talk a little bit more about the table since the first game was so short, but I am um, going to leave in probably my best game of the rest of the session here, um, whatever it turns out to be. Alright. Let's continue. Let's play some more Wild West Rampage. A little steam engine ball launcher. Let's see what we can do here. And right off the bat, that was horrible. Thank you for ball saved, but still I'd rather not that have not happened. So a couple good shots in a row. Just trying to keep the ball alive. Now this one doesn't have, well I don't say it doesn't have, but I don't see it. Outlaying gets me again. I don't, I, because I haven't figured enough about this table yet to figure out where, how to start all the events and everything like that. There probably are more things to it than I have seen. But it's not quite like Adventureland. Adventureland just had so much going on that it was, almost everything was an event. <laughs> And uh, Son of Zeus was kind of like that as well. Oh, that crashed through the window. I mean, that's just that's just such a good example of something that you can't do. Well, that technically you might be able to do, but it would be very difficult on a traditional, you know, live pinball table in an arcade. But it it just fits so well with theme of the table and the voice work and the music and it's just all of it a pinball table should tell a story i know this sounds kind of weird but it's not a movie it's it's not a, a tv show it's not that but it's it's for five to ten minutes it's capturing your attention and all the pieces have to work together the music the voiceovers the graphics it, it's the best ones transport you to the the theme of the table. Like you feel like you're back in the old west, just from the from everything that you're absorbing at the same time. Now, what I really love is some tables take that a step further, and there's some kind of progression mechanic. I'll use an example of, um, say, Theater of Magic, where there, or Medieval Madness, or one of those where they have kind of a, 
end game idea of you do this special event and you quote win the game if you finish the event. But you spend a lot of time building up to that. And some some of the original tables have things like that as well too, and a lot of them have things I haven't discovered. I, mean, I, I am painfully aware that the Williams tables gets you know, 80% of my playtime versus the originals. And to be honest, one of the reasons I decided to do this series is because I realized that's really unfortunate. <laughs> they deserve more time than that. It's just, you know, and, and I, I don't want to put words in their mouth, but I have this feeling that at least some some of the people at uh, Zen Studios would agree. The Williams tables are fantastic. From, from a historical standpoint, from a gameplay standpoint, there are some tables in the Williams catalog that are pretty much perfection. They are that good. And even and even a mediocre Williams table is better than some of the other companies' tables out there. And I think they have done a great job to show the proper respect to the licensing. I really enjoy um, the facts and stuff they talk about the tables when you load them up and everything else. But I think that all comes from the deep love of pinball at its core. They understand how to, you have to put all of these things together to make to make a great table. And I think doing that is what's enabled them to make all of these original tables so good. They they're they're using what they've learned from real life pinball tables to design what they want to do and then they're using their you know the tools we have now to add that extra layer on top using you know digital art so not too bad a score <laughs> looking at it that might be the best one I'm gonna do <laughs> So I got in the neighborhood of my previous best, as bad as it was. But anyway, I hope that gave you a good look at uh, at least what to expect with the Wild West Rampage table. And again, that's available in a two-pack DLC on the uh, Nintendo Switch eShop. The other table is Castle Storm in that pack, and they're both fantastic. So I hope you'll join me uh, next time. Next time I am going to do Castle Storm. So. I uh, hope you'll check that one out, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick overview of this table. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, everyone.